VLAN trunking protocol, PTP. VLAN trunking protocol. This is actually a Cisco's uh, protocol. The purpose of this protocol is to distribute VLANs. Distribute VLANs to all switches that are in same same VTP domain that are in same VTP domain via trunk link. Simple. VTP distributes VLAN via trunk link. To whom? To all the switch that are in same VTP domain. So that you and I need not to go to every single switch creating VLANs. See? Create on one switch, all switches gets VLAN configured. See how easy it is to configure VLAN on all switches. Just you need to spend uh, time with only one switch. All the other switches will be configured with the VLANs. And if you want to delete a particular VLAN, a VLAN, again, you need to delete from any one of the switch. It gets deleted everywhere. So we are not going to jump to every switch deleting the VLAN. Even the name that you give for a VLAN will be replicated. So if you want to modify the VLAN by changing the name, you do it on one switch, any one switch. You need not to go to the same switch where you created, not necessary. You go to any one switch and change the name for VLAN. For example, earlier, VLAN 100 was named as sales. Now I want to name it as marketing. Can be done. You do it on one switch, it gets replicated to all the switches. Let me show you that. See, we got four switches here. And I'm going to configure VTP domain name on all the four switches plus I'm going to make these ports trunk port all right let's see how to do it I'll start from switch one interface range g00 iphone one switch port mode trunk no it won't work in some switches, you need to first say encapsulation type. Switch port trunk encapsulation type dot one q. Switch port mode mode trunk. That's it. And now VTP domain. You can give any number or name. I'm going to say CISEO one two three. So this will be the troubleshooting. section in the CCI exam where there will be a mistake done in the VTP domain name in one of the switch. As a result, the VLANs won't get replicated to that switch. So the domain name should be same on all switches. Let us verify this. Before that, I want to name the switch. Host name switch one. Show VTP status. That's the only command most of the time I will use to troubleshoot VTP. Show VTP status. You can see here the domain name is 123. Cisco, so Cisco 123. So we have given the domain name as Cisco 123. Uh, the version that it is running is version 1. Version one, you know, uh, it's okay, but for more security, 
you need to go version two. So let me change the version, VTP version two. All right, let's verify now, show VTP status. You can see now VTP version two. Earlier it was version one. You know, most of the switches will have version 2 as default. You know, only old switches will have version 1. That's why I switched to version 1. Version 2 is more secured, uh, stronger encryption and so on. That's why I... And also it, uh, it supports token ring, but who uses token ring? Version 2 supports token ring. But my question is, who is using token ring? <laughs> That's not a necessary point. But... That is what the difference between, between version 1 and version 2. Version 2 supports uh, strong encryption and it supports token ring, which is not available in version 1. Version 1 also have got MD5 message digest, but uh, strong encryption is available. Uh, see, here also in version 1 you have MD5, but when you enable authentication, VTP authentication, You'll have strong encryption in version 2, which is not available in version 1. Um, now, next is, I would like to configure the similar thing on switch 2. Enable config T interface range G00-1. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot on Q, switch port mode trunk. Then host name switch to. And next is interface range G zero slash zero. Switch port trunk encapsulation dot on queue. Switch port mode trunk. Host name switch three. VTP domain Cisco 123. You see, it says it is already set. You know why? Because I have configured trunk. Switch one said I am having VTP domain name Cisco 123. I'm giving it to you. So, Cisco, oh, sorry, this is also Cisco switch, switch three. So, switch three says, okay, I'll also join that same domain. But recommended is provide the domain name manually don't 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 trust this domain name you should provide manually anyway switch to i have not configured the domain name but i expect the name to be always already there show vtp domain sorry show vtp status you see the domain name is already there but again i'm telling you if you see it is okay, but don't assume. Um, so it is better to configure if you don't see. Either you verify like this, what I did, or you configure. Now, switch four will not have a domain name. Mm, will it have? Yeah, it will have. Because I configured trunk on this side, it might have negotiated trunk, and VTP domain name should have gone there, see? Show VTP status. See, it is already there. I have not even given host name on this. I just entered into the switch. The domain name is already there. Um, interface uh, range G0 slash 0. This is not needed just for my satisfaction. I'm doing switch for trunk encapsulation dot on Q. Switch port mode trunk. Why I'm saying no, this is not necessary because it's already trunking. By default, the mode will be in auto. We learned in CCNA, right? By default, all the interface will be in auto mode. When you configure trunk on switch two and switch three, switch four should have become trunk already. Anyone have any question on this? Auto negotiation. So now let's give host name. Done. See, these are the two things which are necessary for you to have VTP. Look at 
this distributes VLANs to all switches that are in same VDB domain via trunk. Uh, but remember, I have not configured version 2 on other switches. So let me put it on switch 4. VTP, you must match the version, okay? VTP version is 2. It's already there. Even that code replicated, you see. Good. Okay, already there. We configured on one switch, even that got replicated. Um, when we go to version 3, it will be different, abnormal. Uh, we have to do it everywhere. So we'll talk about that later when we go there. Uh, as of now, you know, the, router, the switches are ready for testing VTP. You go to any switch. I'm on switch 2. I'll show you, show VLAN brief. There is no VLAN other than the default five VLANs. By default, how many VLANs? Five VLANs. But what is the VLAN which is called as default VLAN? VLAN one. So show VTP status again. You will see the number of existing VLAN is five. Whenever I do some changes to the VLAN database, this revision number will get incremented. Right, and this revision number will get incremented. Let us now configure some VLANs. VLAN 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. How many VLANs I created? Six. Earlier, how many VLANs? By default, five. Boom. So I should see 11. Show VTP status. Look at this 11 and the revision number got incremented by one why you know even though i configured six vlan it was a single time process in single line i configured all six so don't expect six time increment it is not for every vlan a revision number is going to increment it is not like that it is every time you disturb the database, VLAN database. When I put these VLANs, the database gets disturbed once. So earlier it was one, now it is two. Now because this revision number is two, it will go and impact all others because others have got lower revision number. Now if we go to switch four and check, you will see those VLANs here. Show VLAN brief. You see all those VLANs have come here and show VTP status here. Look at this, same revision number two. If you compare this message digest even that will match. You see, it's matching with switch two. All right, now let's go to the other two switches and check. Switch one. Earlier it was five VLANs, now it is 11 VLANs. And I also will check it on switch three. Show VLAN brief, 11 VLANs. So VTP is VLAN replication protocol. It replicates VLAN over the trunk ports. That's why it is called as VTP, VLAN trunking protocol. Only on the trunk link, multiple VLANs are going to be distributed. If you don't have trunking between these two switches or between these switches, no replication, right? Now, you all know that I created VLANs on switch two. I can modify or delete the VLAN anywhere. Let me do it on switch three. On switch three, I'm going to say VLAN 60 name uh, production now this the revision number will increment to three earlier see i changed to production 
Only to us to show VTP status now. You see the revision number incremented to three because I modified the name. So this switch with a higher revision number will now impact the other switches because they all have two. Now go to switch one and check revision number is three now, which means the name is now distributed even here. Show VLAN brief. You see the production has come even in switch one. Let us verify on the other switches. Switch four. Revision number three. Show VLAN brief production. So what I'm coming to show here is every time you do some changes to the database, the revision number will get incre incremented and that will impact the other switches. Even deleting VLAN will increase the BTP revision number. Let me show you that. I'm deleting on switch four, the VLAN which I created on switch two. No VLAN priority. Now, the revision number will not decrement, will increment. So that this will impact the other switches. Show VLAN brief. See 30 is missing. Show VTP status. Now I should see four. Yeah, four. Early it was 11 VLANs. Now it is decremented to 10. Let us go and verify the same on the other switches. Switch one, 30 is gone. Uh, VTP status, it is 10 and four. You see? So any changes to the VLAN database will increment, by, increment the revision number by one. And this incremented BTP update will impact the switches that are having smaller revision number than this. Any question so far? If no questions, we have three different modes in VTP. Server mode, which is default, you can see here. And then the client mode and the transparent mode. Not only that, we also have VTP version three, which has got something to learn. Meaning in VTP version three, you can have a hidden password, highly secured secret passwords, Plus, you can make VTP to replicate the MST configuration from one switch to other switches. If you don't have version three VTP, MST configuration that you do on one switch need to be manually configured on every switch. Right, not only that, if you have VTP version two, you cannot have private VLAN, private VLAN. But when we have version 3, you can have private field. We'll talk about those things in coming class.